Clovis is a fraction of this district. Really, the heart of it seems to be in Bakersfield. How do you make that connection to the people down here? Listen, I I'm always willing to go anywhere and anywhere. David Giulio hopes second time is the charm at his bid for Congress in California. This time, he runs in the district of longtime Bakersfield Congressman and former Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy. However, the former high school teacher turned small businessman is not looking for an endorsement from the former leader of the House Republican Caucus. Kevin McCarthy, he, he runs this area. I'm no tune to that. Kevin, uh, you know, he spent a lot of money against me last time. And so we don't have a ton of money, but I've never felt that we have to match people dollar for dollar because I do believe that my message resonates with people and who I am resonates with people. It happened to me last district. I knocked on thousands of doors myself the last time around. It's likely in this red of a district that you could see two Republicans in November. I guess, number one, how do you make it to November? And then number two, what separates you from the Vince Fongs and the Sheriff Boudreaux in this district. You make it to uh, November by just fighting your, your butt off, your tail off, and really trying to resonate with, with voters. And, you know, listen, some people will say, well, you, you spend a lot of time on the attack. And I have to do this because, like you said, I have to differentiate myself from these people. You know, a lot of politicians on um, both sides of the aisle pretend to be things that they aren't. And I do believe that Sheriff Boudreaux and Assemblyman Fong offer a lot of the same. They've come out right and said, you know, one's endorsed by Speaker McCarthy, the other son Speaker McCarthy's praises when he announced. They're, they're, they're de facto saying they're going, they want to continue that legacy. I'm the only one who stood up, challenged Speaker McCarthy when he was still in this race because I said, listen, we need change. Julio says the country is suffering at the hands of multiple crises, ranging from a lack of confidence in elected officials to an influx of crossings at the southern border. The American First Republican believes that it is time the Central Valley has a leader who breaks away from the Bill Thomas tree that includes McCarthy and his current primary challenger, Vince Fong. There's a crisis of confidence in our country, in our elected leaders on both sides of the aisle. People feel left behind. They've lost faith in those leaders, and they just want people that want to at break the status quo and do real change. That's what separates me. You know, uh, we have a crisis at our southern border right now. It's affecting California. Homelessness in California is through the roof. Crime is through the roof. Like I said, my store has been broken into three times in three years. And, you know, the sheriff, he's done a lot of good things as sheriff, but he's proposing a plan that is basically infinite amnesty for illegal aliens. And that is not a sustainable policy. I believe people should come to this country, but we have to have a legal process that people abide by. We can't encourage people to come here illegally. And it'll overwhelm our system. So I believe I'm the only one that offers change. I have no interest in the status quo. Reporting in Bakersfield, Will Silverstein, Eyewitness News.